Returning back today, this week the Dietary Guidelines for Americans, which is jointly published by USDA and Health and Human Services every five years, was released. It provides Americans science-based recommendations designed to foster healthy dietary patterns for Americans of all ages. These guidelines represent many years of hard work and dedication that reflect increased transparency, engagement, and robust science-based guidance. The guidelines focus on four key areas that promote healthy eating for every life stage while customizing food choices based on preference, cultural traditions, and budget concerns. The Montana grain growers applaud the science-based approach to promote health, meeting nutrient needs while reducing the risk of chronic disease. The consumption of whole grains and enriched refined grain products like breads and cereals and pasta, and even some snacks now, you know, are all part of a, a, of a good healthy diet. You know, Montana grain producers are we're well known for high quality grains of wheat and barley, and we strive and maintain to produce an abundant supply of affordably priced raw materials for the production of, of healthy food products. Cattle and beef producers are also pleased with the recommendations. Asking Americans to make choices based on those, those efficient foods that give them the, uh, the nutrition that they need, uh, nothing fits that description better than beef. You read through what they've recommended here, it points a big old arrow as far as we're concerned towards beef as a really efficient source of that nutrition and a great protein choice. The Nutrition Coalition said the guidelines fail to represent all Americans though, ignoring 60% of the population diagnosed with diet-related disease like obesity and diabetes. And for the first time, the dietary guidelines for infants and toddlers recommend feeding only breast milk for at least six months and no added sugar for children under the age of two. That's today's Farm and Ranch News.